Yo, good morning. It is freezing in the van. You probably see my breath. It's minus two on the clock. So, yeah, it's freezing. It's a Saturday and we're working with Mitch, Bright Spark Electrical. You would have seen Nick's been doing some work with him. Um, I've got some jobs coming up with him, some car chargers, all mixed variety of stuff, some commercial stuff. And then I've got some other jobs in the pipeline, which is completely random and something I've never done before, which is site temp stuff. So that's completely different. I'm just trying to dip my toes into a bit of everything electrical related and see exactly what I like. Obviously I've done domestic mainly, I've done tiny bits of commercial and like industrial, but obviously I want to do bits more of that and then more solar and more car chargers as the world's going more green as such. So like EVs, car chargers, battery systems, um, heat pumps, stuff like that. So Saturday, it's minus two, it's freezing cold. You know what the score is. Let's go back to McDonald's, grab a coffee. It's about coming up to 20 to 7 something like that we've got to go down to dudley so let's grab a mackies hop on the motorway and let's get down there and meet mitch whilst i'm just waiting for the heated windscreen to defrost i will just add as well so last night i set up payment link with pre tradeify so on, i never knew you could do it on tradeify so on tradeify before i used to just put my bank details like my sort code account number um my name on the card on the bottom of the invoice whereas now you can actually like they can just pay straight away on the invoice using the thing and you can actually pass on the charge as such straight on to the customer so say if it's like a big amount obviously you pay like the two percent or however small percentage it is um but then they can use pay they can pay them with a credit card so you know you've got the money straight away into your bank so some people worry about not getting paid whereas like with tradeify if you send the invoice there and then and you're with the customer and he just says, oh, just, just pay it like there and then, then you, you know you're gonna get paid. We've just got some Mackey D's. I'm gonna go for a sausage egg McMuffin, get rid of the egg, get an ash brown, get a cappuccino, but breakfast wraps are back. That brings back memories. So Nick used to get one of them every morning when I first started working with him. So yeah, Nick, if you're watching this, get back to Mackey's, mate. We're here, we're at the job. So it's a big extension, like moving the kitchen around. So we've got all sorts going on. We've got Callum, Prentice, we've got Mitch, well, that's who you want to see in our next videos all the time. And we've just pulled apart the ring, figured out what's what, and then there was a six mil spur coming off, and we thought, mm, that's not a bit of a no-no, so where's that going? Lovely parrot wallpaper, we have had to damage it. Six mil coming down, and then we found this. So it's an old, like, cooker grid switch thing, and they've just put a junction box in the wall, and then used capping as a lid. So that's oh, the type of things, terminal. that's the type of things you find hidden in the wall. Obviously, because we found that out because we had two five down there, six mil up there, and it was a bit like, well, where's, where's it changing? And it just, Mitch just said it must be in the wall, so. I think it's just mad that somebody thinks that that's acceptable. Yeah. To just leave that in the wall. Yeah. A bit of capping over the top of it, and yeah, there's not even a lid on it. No, they've used capping. Capping, and then at least it's in zones. That's the only good thing about it, I'd say. Yeah. It's actually above the socket. Okay, we're coming here, ripping everything out, getting back to basics. So we're getting to a blank canvas. We've got an old, old fuse board in there that's all getting updated. So we're just pulling some feeds. I've just drilled two 28 mil holes all the way through these joists, all the way down there. Got the new uni light, little UFO light, hanging off the RSJ, being an absolute beast. And then uh, we've got a kitchen. So we've got fridge, freezer, dishwasher, all sorts of appliances there. Then we've got like all units here. There's loads of tool units, isn't there, Mitch, we've got going on. Yes. And then we've got a cooker and a hob over there. So we've got to run in, new six mils, two rad no, three radials. We're going to go for a radial over here for all these, a radial over there for the some of the kitchen, like, worktop sockets and stuff like that. that and then we've got a utility going here. They're extending this stud wall to there, so there's going to be, like, appliances in here for the utility. Three days later, and we've completed that job, smashed it out, however, Within an hour of turning up, we turned up half seven, nice and eager to smash out the work extension. As I ran you through, said what we were going to do, and I was going to show more. Then the plumbers turned up and ruined all those plans. Turned up about four guys, made it into an absolute rave, because I don't know why, they must have been going out because it was a Saturday. Literally, it was crazy, wasn't it, Mitch? Ridiculous. And then, I so, yeah, so today, Monday, back with Mitch, meant to be like a demo run, doing two car chargers. Nice, pretty easy day. All gone belly up on it. Completely. So from the off. From from the get-go, Mitch's van, nice lovely van. What's happened, mate? Gearbox has gone bang. Nice big hole in the side of the gearbox. Adam's jinxed. Yeah, I'm just bad luck yeoman, so I'll put some footage here of what's happened, but basically the gearbox has blown up, DSG box. 
So there was transmission oil everywhere. We had to unload it off the recovery truck here and then push it around the corner and just do a time check. What are we now? About 11? 11 o'clock, bang on. 11 o'clock and we've been to the first job, went to go and get some more trunking and bits and bobs and it blew up on the way there. Blew the van up, recovered it here. So, and yeah. Team ready for them to get sorted. We were working a Saturday, that went wrong because plumbers just did already. Yeah. And then Monday, well, the van's you, blown up. You jinxed. I'm just bad luck. You ain't going to want me working for you. Yeah, where's Where Nick? So what we've done is, this is Mitch's van. Oh, nice. Nice bit of hex racking. And then uh, we've managed to fit two vans into one and just cram all this stuff in here. But luckily for Mitch, I'm actually working for him tomorrow and the day after it's been booked in. Me, Nick and Mitch are on a rewire, so I can just pick him up and then fingers crossed I'll have your van back by then. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We should get there. So you're going to be stuck with me in the cab here. The only downside he's already found out is there's only one heated seat. Before we left, we nearly forgot these. These are WCD, is it? Yeah. So that's the brand. Um, obviously five pole uh, Henley blocks, 100 amp rated, and they're color coded. A bit like the Luden ones, but these, you think these are a bit better because the terminations obviously are a bit bigger to get yeah. in, aren't they? They're pretty much identical to the Luden ones, but the, um, the Proteus ones are similar, but these clip together. Yeah. Um, so I prefer these ones, and they're cheaper as well than the Proteus ones. Yeah, so you can clip it all together and it stays as a whole, or you can have them individually. So if you just pull one of those apart, oh, or do that. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I'm smashing, right. smashing stuff off already. Right. We're back at the old sailors, pretty much starting. Should we start the day again, mate? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the best option too. We, we started this day here, so we may as well start again. We've just come to get some trunking and. Uh, Deja vu from this yeah, morning. Yeah, get some more materials, and then we've come into another problem. I, my roof rack is good, so we've cable tied it to the roof tack. But because we've got that much stuff in the van, <laughs> can't fit no trunk in it. Can't fit a three meter length in, and we can't fold the seat up because someone sat there. Yeah, it's not heated either, actually. Yeah. There's my button. Ford, what are you playing at? But yeah, right. We'll see you at the job, and we'll actually show you some electrical work, not just broken vans and broken vans, annoying plumbers, and just ranting. We've just sat in the van for five minutes, haven't we? And spoke about linking our trader fires. Yeah, so, so we're all linked now. All three of us, me, you, and Nick, to be able to kind of plan work between us. Yeah. So with subcontracting work, obviously. Sometimes you do drop on things last minute, like you might think, oh God, I've got this, or oh, a customer's text me, can I do this? And like, maybe we'll, me or Nick is free. And then we'll, rather than having the hassle of WhatsApping each other all the time and ringing each other and stuff like that, we've just set it up now. So I'm green, you're red, and Nick's blue. Yeah. <laughs> so we set up all different colors each. And then if I want you for a day, I can just put it, create a job, send it to Mitch on Tradeify. it sends him a notification like an invoice to a customer, a uh, quotation, sorry, and then they accept that or decline it depending whether you're free or not and it puts it straight into your diary. So if I just go onto Mitch's phone now, so you can quite clearly see there. So today we've had me and Mitch working at that one job and then Nick on that job as well because he tagged along at the very end. So it's very smart the way it just simplifies everything really. Yeah, I think And we you, didn't think we could do it. at that point then invoice from that so you can allocate your invoice to that job. Yeah. Um, which makes it easier for just for invoicing as well. You can click on it, send that invoice, and it's done. I know what it's for, when it's for, and how long it was for. That's it. It just keeps everything together on that same job. So when you come to the end of the year, you just say, here's all my stuff with the accountant. Here's what's what yeah. from what job. And then you know, don't you? It's quite straightforward. I quite like it, to be fair. It's nice and, nice and simple. Yeah. So Mitch has just showed me a few more tricks with Tradeify. But if you do want to grab Tradeify, there'll be a link in the description below where you can get a discount for the first three months. Or there is a 14-day trial where you can try it out. So go check that out below. Sorry about the drilling in the background. We're at job number two. The first job wouldn't let us film it. But we basically had to trunk around the door frame on the inside with uh, four B 2B50 trunking and then run the 4mm Ultra EV round, joint it into a whisker box because these chargers were fitting. I can't remember the brand of them. You, they come with a pre-wired flex where you have to put it in. So we put the junction box on the inside so you've not got two cake boxes on the outside, which sometimes you see when you're driving past properties and it just doesn't look the best. We are doing that on this property because it's going the other side of a chimney breast. So if I just spin you around, the charger is coming out, cable's coming out there, going round and coming out the other side of the chimney breast so you can't see it anyway. So that's where that one's going. Nick's on this job, giving us a hand because he was in the area. And we thought we were going to be super, super late after 
the van blowing up and everything just going wrong. Four mil Ultra V, we've got it through into the lounge and then we're rodding over into the fuse board now. Mitch fits WCD ones, however, these are Proteus ones now on this job because the company does it for supply all the materials, just turns up and do it, does it as such. So yeah, these are on, you've got type two SPD, you've got your RCD and MCB obviously all built in, B40s or C40s. Some of these, you put them on a C40 because you have higher startup current. But yeah, real nice snug little boards. Obviously you've got the surge protection and then these chargers have built in matte devices. So it's literally just a case of splicing into the tails, like running new tails off the Henley block, run some new little tails into this, into the top. Your buzz bar's already come pre-installed, insulated. Jobs are good and just a couple of screws, get them mounted, stuff and glands. Cable here, so straight away, as soon as we've got here, we've already drilled the cable roots. So you can see the little 10 mil holes drilled all the way around for the linear clips to smash in. And then we've got a rubber mallet in Mitch's box here. So he keeps in here his tails, his earth, linear clips, these um, handy blocks, which I showed you before, Copex. So it's all ready just to get, get in, get done and get out. That was a good job, that one. Nice one, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah. So, Superman's come here to save the day. Yeah. Oh, we've got broke down. Are you coming out with me on the job? <laughs> all right, Mitch. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, we've been here, what, half hour? And we're, that side's all pretty much done. Mitch is prepping the board. So, what's what that? 10 mil tails? 16? 10 10 mil, yeah. 10 mil tails, earth, handy blocks, doing all that. Um, yeah, and then we're just clipping this all the way along. And then the charger's going down here. Charger's just coming up into the EV box and then straight into the charger. That rubber mallet is a lot better, isn't it, for these? Yeah. Your mum's got something quite heavy in rubber like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Swings it around. <laughs> Probably could knock these in, to be fair, couldn't it, Mitch? <laughs> I am not being installed into Adam. He's been kind enough to drive me around for the day. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Adam likes getting paid to drive people around, don't you, mate? Yeah. That's what your mum does. She calls me a little chauffeur. A <laughs> <laughs> chauffeur? Yeah. Yeah, because I take her on romantic meals in Did France. You? Yeah. She's on, she's on, I'm still, mate. You missed her there. I know. I'm flying her back. <laughs> and that's it. We're all on. Cable clips, nice all the way around. Nice and neat. The only downside to these chargers, but you can't change anything, is they come with a pre-wired flex. Um, not flex, like a proper EV Ultra cable, where you just extend the CT clamp in that box there. So it has to go into a whisker box, which one way it doesn't look as good, but then ultimately if you're moving house, you've only got to take that cable out and then you've got the charger back, which is the expensive part. But overall, so the customer, he needs some charge. So straight away, we've plugged him in. Once we've tested, we're all good. And it's showing there. So it's 8.1p per mile. Estimated cost of this charge for a full charge, £21.70. And it also says on that screen there how much you're saving compared to a petrol car on an Octopus Go tariff. So that he's currently saving 32 quid 53 p off this one charge. And he says he charges up sometimes twice a day, five times a week he travels over 25,000 miles a year so he's going to be saving a lot of money um, it's definitely beneficial using an ev car in this situation and the overall install of this nice neat run quite a long run but it's fine on four mil, four mil ev because it's rated to is it 40 50 amps 45 amps it's about 28 meters is good. yeah and it's clip direct as well so it's like optimum overall this is well we've done two installs like this haven't we today broken down van yeah. And all the rest of it, yeah. So we've had broken down van, two installs, smashed that out, loads of different wholesalers, drove around in circles about five times. Yeah. Bit of a long day and working Saturday. And it's still only five o'clock really, so it's not as though it's been a really bad day. No. So it's all that. Six o'clock we'll be home. Jobs are good in. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you later.